y ako pala yung ano, magdi-discuss our training for today, for tonight is the movers manual and protocol. So, bakit tayo? Why do we why do we why do we do movers manual? What does this mean? So, this is what we do after joining. So, we because we want to start the business, right? So, basically, ang movers manual has a history pala. I will tell you about the history of the movers manual. So, ang movers manual um came into into the picture of uh of I am or any networking business dahil merong merong mga ang movers manual is very basic. So basically super basic siya na pwede mo siyang ulitin sa susunod na kumaga once mo lang makita, pwede mo na siyang ulitin to your sa downline mo na i-i-man movers manual mo. The reason for that being is we wanna we want them to start the business right. So gusto natin ano siya, basic parang ano siya, parang parang si parang basketball. Ano ba yung basic ng basketball? Can anyone tell me kung ano basic ng basketball? Passing, <laughs> dribbling. <laughs> dribbling. That's correct. Dribbling is the very basic of basketball. Kung ang basketball may basic na dribbling, ang scuba diving, ang basic naman is how to put on your ano, yung yung gear mo para makahinga ka sa ilalim ng tubig. So that that's that's the very basic. Ang basic naman ng business natin is the movers manual. So, yun yung yun kung bakit natin inaaral o una nating aalamin how we have how we can do the business right. So, here, hindi mo daw kailangan mag-start na magaling para gumaling ka. But if you are willing to learn, if you are willing to learn and you have a uh, you have a uh, you are willing to learn and you have a uh, an attitude of welcoming and learning welcoming learning magiging magaling ka so you don't have to be great to start but you have to start somewhere right you have to start to be great so ano yon first is the personal development una sa personal development you have to have an empty cup anong ibig sabihin noon that means na kung tayo kunyari mostly sa atin lahat tayo came from different walks of life sa network marketing, sa networking, di ba? Merong mga matatalino, merong galing sa mga prestigious school. Okay, that's actually great. Kaya lang, pagdating po dito sa I Am Worldwide, we have to start with an empty cup. Ayaw po natin na magkaroon tayo ng, ng attitude na alam ko na yan, which is the AKNY. So gusto po natin have an empty cup. So this is this is to this is to open up yung ano mo, yung open up your mind to the learning. Kasi y- pwedeng sabihin na ay alam ko na yan, networking yan. But honestly, it's a different kind of networking. So we want to learn that. Second, yes mentor attitude. So, ang yes mentor attitude is madaling magsabi ng yes, pero do we really do it? ba? Diba? Do we do, do we just say yes para wag tayong kukulitin ng mentor natin? Or do we say yes because we we wanna we wanna get out of our comfort zone? So, ang yes mentor attitude minsan katulad sa akin, may mga times na there was a time na parang ayoko ayoko ng may mga may may experience ako na parang hmm, ayoko ng nahihiya ako ayoko 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 mag yes pero here you have to have a yes men, mentor attitude kasi ano mo yan eh gusto mong i-duplicate ka ng mga downlines mo so yes having a yes mentor attitude so sabi nga may may kasabihan nga tayo na you have to be 
you have to be a follower before you can be a leader. So, hindi mo pwedeng hindi mo pwedeng uh, hindi mo pwedeng um, sabihin na mag-aas ka sa isang downline mo na gawin to kung hindi mo rin ginagawa. So, you have to have a yes men mentor attitude. What's next? It's good learning, listening, and lecturing attitude. I think self-explanatory na yung good learning and listening. So, nagle-learn ka, nakikinig ka, pero yung lecturing, who among you here ang sa mga mentors natin na nandito ang napagsabihan na or napagalitan, na lecturan, na lecturan. Na lecturan na ng ng mentors nila kasi matigas yung ulo. <laughs> right? So, lecturing, you have to have a good learning, listening, and lecturing attitude. Hindi kayo nililecturan ng mentor nyo just for the sake of lecturing you, but they don't, they wanna correct kung may nakikita silang dapat ayusin or may nakikita silang dapat ituro sa'yo. That's what they do. So, kaya nandyan yung mga mentors natin to do that. So, here, Sa personal development, fourth is learn the business fast. Why do we want to learn the business fast? Kasi gusto natin na, uh, gusto natin na maduplicate, maduplicate tayo ng mga, ng mga downlines natin. So how do we do that? Sir, uh, ang first, first thing we, we do is learn and share the fastest way you can. So ano to? Kung ano yung natutunan mo, kung ano yung nalaman mo, share it. And wag wag kang magpapaligoy-ligoy. Kung meron kang naisip, kunyari, meron kang sa power of now. The power of now is very important. Kasi bastang may meron kang meron kunyari, meron sa yung nag meron sa yung nag um nakiusap or nag 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 share nag share sa yon nitong nag share sa yon ng nag uh, nag ask sa yon na ano ba yung ano na yan ano ba yung business na sinalihan mo ano ba yun pwede mo bang ishare wag mong sasabihin na ay sa kako na sasabihin sa yon we have to learn to uh, to we have to learn the the power of now kasi merong sin may, merong tayong kasabihan na strike while the iron is hot. Minsan, merong mga opportunities na dumarating na nandito na ngayon, you don't have to wait. Mag-yes mag ka na. And then, save notes. Laging, pag, kunyari, sa mga ano natin, sa mga mga mentorings and sa mga uh, trainings na inaattenda natin, always take down notes. Bakit? Kasi importante yon. Kasi pwede kang hindi mo hindi lahat ng mga mga ano natin mga learnings natatandaan natin right away. So it it's good to to have to save notes para mababalikan mo siya and marereview mo. And it says here, ink is better than ink. So it's the same. It it kind of coincides with the save the, the save the note, save notes. So Saan mo to mga matututunan? Saan mo to gagawin? Yung mga nasa left, sa I, matututunan mo yan. Dito sa IBP, which is our I am business presentation, mga trainings, ang dami nating trainings, and also read the law of leverage book. You will learn a lot. Hindi lang sa hindi lang sa networking, but uh, life in general, malaking tulong, and also be active on your group, uh, on your groups, group chat, and company activities. Lagi, lagi kayo dapat uh, aware kung anong mga nangyayari sa group na sa, sa mga sa group, kasi jan parati nilalagay yung mga available na trainings for for now or kung anong kung kahit sa ang countries actually nagshare sila parati sa mga group chats kung saan saan merong mga available na training so learn the business fast and ano ba yung dapat nating gawin next what do we do next so we have 
we have here the importance of setting goals. Bakit tayo nagsiset ng goals? Kasi binibigyan tayo ng direction, ng goals. Na, 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 na excite tayo every day. So, sino ba sa inyo dito ang, ang naka-experience na na gumising sa umaga and walang goals? Wala kang naisip na goals. Di ba pag wala kang, wala kang iniisip na goals when you wake up, parang ang, ang tendency mo is parang tinatamad ka, di ba? Pero kung may goals ka, you're actually kind of perk up and and gusto mong, you, you wanna get started with your day right away. So, nai-inspire ka, na motivate ka. So, ganun din. Kung ipapakita mo yan na ginagawa mo, na may, nakikita nilang may direction ka, na excite ka, it actually motivates your downlines. So, yun yun. So, paano ba? Ano ba yung first set of goals after mong mag-join? So, first is you make sure that you are an executive account holder. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng executive account holder? So, ang executive accounts po natin is the gold, platinum, and jade. So, if you are on the, if you avail, when you join, if you avail of the package na, um, what do you call this? Associate package, you have to rank up. So, kung hindi ka pa executive account holder, kung hindi ka pa gold, platinum, or jade, yan ang igogol mo. Yan yung first goal mo is to rank up or cash upgrade. Kasi pag nag-rank up ka, that means yung income mo is also gonna rank up. Di ba? Magra-rank up din yung kita mo. So, you wanna, you wanna be an executive account holder and mag-rank up ka as as fast as you as you can kasi sayang nung mga sayang nung mga incentives na makukuha mo or mga mga perks na makukuha mo on each of every account of each of every executive account second kailangan mong maging mover ka what does a mover what does mover mean a mover has two directs one on your left and one on your right. So here, kailangan mong direct referrals. So that's that's the way to to do, to do that. So kung ikaw to, kung nandito ka sa stages na to, you will see how you will be able to rank up. Kailangan mo ng dalawang directs, one left and one right. So and then, pagkatapos mong maging mover, kailangan mong maging mover maker. So, you will help your downline to be a mover as well. Pag, naka, pag tinulungan mo yung downline mo na maging mover din, mover maker ka na. So, you will help your direct referrals to be a mover din. So, third is direct referral to activate your infinity bonus. So, ano, parang unending referrals na to. Always keep going. So, hindi hindi tayo magsa-stop by just one or two direct referrals. We we will we will keep going kasi ma-activate yung ating infinity bonus. The fourth is again, direct referral ulit para ma-hit mo yung first ng many just for you. Kung natatandaan niyo po, isa sa mga isa sa mga incentives ng uh, ng executive package is the just for you bonuses. So pag meron ka ng aapat na direct referrals, you will actually activate the just for you bonus. So kung may apat na, meron ka ng magkakaroon ka ng just for you bonus kasi meron ka na nitong apat and it will it will be it will pair and then number 6 non stop direct referring and mentoring so ibig ano pong ibig sabihin nito ibig sabihin we are not gonna stop referring uh, getting direct referrals bakit po kasi we will never know kung sino yung studs natin sa team so magiging team natin until 
we actually we actually go through numbers so numbers don't lie if if we keep inviting if we keep referring people dun sa quantity na yon sa dami ng tao na nire-refer mo makakakuha ka doon ng quality people pero wag kang mag-iisip na ay si ganito hindi yan parang baka hindi yan mag 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 survive dito wag po tayong wag po tayong judgmental kasi meron tayong mga iniisip da na pwedeng mag maging successful pero hindi naman nagiging successful wag tayong mag-judge just keep going just keep getting the quantity kasi out of that quantity sa dami ng quantity magkakaroon tayo doon tayo makakahanap ng quality na, na quality nating mga 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 ano mga downlines and then seventh is hit sapphire rank and so on so sa sapphire naman you will have to have uh, actually eto na to yung may apat na direct na referrals ka na may tsaka may dalawa may dalawa kang movers and then hit team and company incentives katulad ngayon meron tayong we've started our um, our hatawan 2021 so yung yung hatawan na yon are actually available ang are incentives that are being given by the company na you can win uh, apple gadgets so isa yon maghihit ka ng ng team and company incentives so there's also do's and don'ts sa ating uh, dito sa business dito sa I am so in inviting ang goal natin is to have a long term our long term goal is to build a solid team so Usually, ang gagawin natin sa una, mag-i-invite tayo yung mga warm nating warm na network natin. Mag, yun yung uunahin natin. So, these are the people who are closest to us and whom we trust and who already trust us. The reason for that is established na yung trust. So, mat, kumbaga, madali kang mag-share. Yun yung itinatawag na warm market. Okay? Is everyone learning ba? Are you learning, guys? Yes, mentor. Yes, mentor. That's awesome. So, meron tayong different approaches kung paano tayo mag invite ng prospects. Meron tayong, I will just I, I will just mention this quick kasi mag-ano mag, tayo, i-discuss natin isa-isa. So, there are different approaches in inviting your prospects. There's business owner approach, product or health approach, employee approach and third party approach ano ba yung business owner approach ang business owner approach is actually is actually very straightforward kung meron tayong mga friends na mga business minded or meron ng mga mga sarili nilang business no matter how it is dahil mga business minded sila it's straightforward so you just have There's actually just three questions for a business for the business owners approach. Yun yun dapat nating ma sagot sa mga business owners. First question is how much capital do I need? Kung baga magkano yung puhunan? Magkano ba yung puhunan na dapat kong ilagay jan? Magkano ba yung puhunan na kakailanganin ko sa business na yan? Pangalawang question for a business owner is how much will i make magkano ba yung kikitain ko diyan di ba pag business sa business owner yun yung mga mga questions na dapat mong masagot and number three, when will i see my return of investment so ang tanong kailan ba ako kikita diyan kailan ko mabababa, mababawi yung puhunan ko so those are the three questions na kailangan nating masagot. So, here are some scenarios. Sandali lang to ha. So, kunyari, i-approach mo yung uh, business owner mong friend or kakilala mo or kapamilya mo. Sasabihin mo, bro, familiar ka na ba sa I am worldwide? 
Tapos sasabihin ng prospect mo, ano yun? Yung nasa Itbulaga, yung endorser nila si Manny Pacquiao. So magtatanong siya, hindi pa, anong meron? Ah, okay bro, actually nakita ko lang yan din sa internet. Nagka-interest, nagka-interest ako kasi maganda ang kitaan. Kumusta? Kumusta bro? So, you will create conversation and then papakita mo na yung, mga, yung binanggit mo na sinabi mo na, na, na nagka-interest ka, nakita mo sa internet. Isishare mo na ngayon yung picture ng mga ambassadors. Kunyari si, uh, si Senator Manny Pacquiao. Kung alam mong idol nila si Yorme, Isko Moreno, ishare mo yung picture ni Isko Moreno. So, yun yung mga y- yun yung mga sa yun yung mga gagawin niyo, yun yung mga yun yung unang scenario. Yung second scenario is magtatanong yung prospect mo, ano ba yan networking ba yan? Huwag niyo pong ipagkakaila. <laughs> Don't lie. Kasi it is a networking. It, it is uh, it is networking. So ang sagot nyo, yes, it is networking, pero iba to. Hindi ito yung usual na uh, usual na networking na alam mo. Kasi dito ang partners namin si ganito. So babanggitin mo na naman yung mga yung mga yung mga kilalang mga kilalang mga tao, di ba? So isa yon na pwedeng pwedeng is, isa sa mga straightforward na point, straight to the point ng business owners approach. And then, meron ding isa pang scenario na uh, kunyari ikaw, kukumustahin mo. Sis, kumusta ka? Sasabihin, okay naman sis, ikaw ba? Ah, okay naman ako. Ito, nag adjust sa pandemic. Actually, sis, kaya ako na message sa iyo kasi baka lang magka-interest ka. So, may mga dito sa mga uh, uh, mag, may mga may mga scenario na tatanungin ka kung kung bakit ay I, I mean kung sasabihin mo kung bakit kung bakit uh, na hindi hindi siya mismo yung kumbaga hindi hindi siya mismo yung i-recruit mo or bebentahan mo usually pwede mo pwede kang pwede mong gamitin na ba, magiging ano siya parang siya yung magiging magiging bridge doon sa taong gusto mong kausapin. Na kunyari, baka magka-interest ka, pwede mo naman sigurong baka meron kang meron kang taong pwedeng uh, makatulong sa akin. So, uh, isa din 'yon sa mga sa mga approach na pwedeng gamitin, which is pwede ka din mag tapos isi-send mo na ulit yung mga pictures ng mga ambassadors. Next one is eto na, be straight to the point. So, meron diyang mga prospect or meron kang kakilala diyan na magtatanong tat kung na pwede mong tanungin kung familiar na sila sa barley. And then, syempre tatanungin ka din na hindi pa ano 'yun. So, sasabihin mo na yung iniinom ni, babanggitin mo na naman yung pangalan ni Piolo Pascual kasi there will always be a common common ground. Kumbaga, merong uh, parehas niyong kilala na makaka-relate sa conversation. So magbi-build sa mag doon ka na magsisimulan na mag-build ng conversation and then always end up with a question. Kaya sinasabi natin na 'di ba maging user ka ng product para pag tinanong ka may isasagot ka, makaka-share ka ng testimonials about sa product ng IM. Kasi ang testimony it always sells. So pwede kang mag-share ng pictures katulad ng Nakikita nyo dyan si Mr. Piol Pascual, si uh, Heart Evangelista, or you can share video of Maritoni Fernandez. And then meron naman tayong tinatawag na employee approach. Sa employee approach naman, you usually, uh, you, you, will, you will use the term racket or extra income. So, yung kunyari, yung katrabaho mo, or may kakilala ka na nagtatrabaho din at ilan yung na, na, ilang ilang employment meron sila. So that is actually you can use the employee approach kasi they are the ones who are looking for extra income. So ang sasabi kasi pag pag ang approach mo niyan is 
business, ang iisipin ka agad nila, hmm, gastos lang yan. So, ang approach mo naman dito is, may bago akong racket ngayon. At pinagkakaabalahan, maganda siya. So, may bago akong pinagkakakitaan, naghahanap ako ng makakasama. Ganon yung mga lines na pwede niyong gamitin. Or, may bago akong racket ngayon. Online lang to. Sobrang simple. Baka gusto mo i-check. So, mga ganyan. Pero, ang wag na wag natin gagawin is yung makikidnap. Actually, na-experience ko to sa isang, sa isang network, uh, network marketing company din na parang, I don't know, uh, to me, it's deceiving pag hindi sasabihin sa akin right away. Kasi, kung kunyari, sasabihin na, oh, punta tayo, magkape lang tayo or something or imimit natin si ganito. Tapos pagdating doon, meron palang ano, meron palang, meron palang presentation. Nainis ako noon. Kaya hindi niya na ako nakita next, yung, yung wala nang next. Kasi I feel deceived. It's better to just tell them, uh, tell them straightforward. Kasi iba-iba, most of the time, kung kikidnapin nyo, it's, it's not really good. Unless, talagang sila yung mga tipong ayos lang kidnapin. Pero most of the time, nakakainis yung ganon, di ba? Next one is third party party approach. Ganon pa rin. Racket and is extra income pa rin. And hihingan mo sila. Kung baga, hihingan mo sila ngayon ng, ano, ng, ng tulong. Parang baka, baka pwede mo naman akong tulungan. Kasi Uh, baka may kakilala ka na naghahanap ng pag, mapagkakakitaan. Sabihan mo lang ako ha. So hindi, li, hindi nila, ito yung mga tao na ayaw nila na yung directly silang binibentahan or binibentahan or uh, nire-recruit, lalo na pag networking. So another, another line na pwedeng gamitin is, or yeah, na may, na, Bro, may online business ka may may online business kasi ako ngayon. Habang nasa work ako or nasa bahay pwede gawin. Baka lang may kakilala ka na naghahanap ng opportunity ngayon, lalo na ngayon, ang pandemic, maraming nawawala ng trabaho. So baka pwede mo ako i-refer. Salamat. So ito yung mga tao na ayaw direct na bentahan, which is true. So next is scheduling. So sa scheduling naman, pwede tayong As much as possible, kung gusto nyo mag-schedule ng, kunyari, sa mentors nyo, gusto nyo magpa-schedule na kakausapin and uh, mag-e-explain yung mentor nyo, at least, be ano naman, be courteous naman sa mga mentors nyo to schedule at least one to two days. So, ang message format is yung prospect's full name, yung background niya, date and time, venue, and yung ano, paano ba nyo gagawin. So, ito, it will just give you a little, it will just give your mentor a little bit of a background about the person na ipapamit sa'yo. Okay? Be respectful of your mentor's time. Huwag, huwag naman yung immediate na schedule kasi sasabihin, alam, alam natin na every, every prospect that we have is important. Pero, be respectful of the time of your mentors kung kinakailangan nyo na yung mentor nyo, tutulungan kayo. So, sa akin siguro, I would, I would consider it on a case-to-case -case basis kung gusto nyo na ura-urada yung schedule natin. Nasasabihin mo na, mentor patulong naman. Ngayon, pwede bang ngayon na in two minutes? Tapos wala man lang akong ka-idea ng ano, ng kung anong pangalan ng prospect, ano yung background, we wanna do that para naman hindi parang hindi mo naman ilalagay on the spot yung ano mo, yung mentor mo. And also, confirming a day confirming a day on the day of the meeting is very important. So kunyari, nag-schedule ka last week tapos ngayon na yung day. Katulad ng ginawa ko kanina ki sa guesting natin doon sa uh, guesting natin doon sa Ki, ki Kuya Jobert at saka ki Miss Plastic. Alam ko na na na-schedule na namin, napag-usapan na, pero this morning, na-remind ko na okay pa ba tayo? O, uh, are, we, are, we, are we still good? Are, are we still good for tonight? So, pag walang confirmation, ibig sabihin, canceled, right? So, we wanna, we wanna confirm 
schedules. And then, meron tayong mga official schedules for our uh, business presentation and training schedule. Sa I am business presentation, us it's usually Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 4 p.m. Philippine time. So, sa Middle East, meron ding Monday, Mondays to Saturdays at 11 Philippine time. And yung I am training natin is Mondays to Saturdays at 8 p.m. Lagi tayo dapat present sa mga official schedules. Bakit? Dahil eto yung talagang uh, binibigyan ng effort na ng mga mentors natin wala hindi hindi natin sila binabayaran para gawin yung i am yung yung presentations all the presentations as, is actually to help all of us lalo na yung mga bago to learn the business so we want to be able to 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 have to be present in these schedules kasi dapat matutunan natin yung business yung mga trainings ganun din dapat matutunan natin so be present in those uh, trainings kung gusto nyong maging successful sa business na to. So, ang mga suggestions is to invite on a neutral ground. Example, sa coffee shop, ang sinasabi, we should actually, uh, um, yung prospect natin, nag-exert nag ng effort and nagbigay ng time sa atin to attend the business meeting. So, ibig sabihin, interested siya, nag-show siya ng interest. Kaya, we have to choose a location, kunyari, uh, if we are inviting them on a neutral ground, kunyari sa coffee shop, we have to choose a place where we can sit at a table that is at a corner. And then, let them face on the wall instead na sila yung nasa wall and facing the people that are coming in kasi destructive. This is this is good for um, having meetings or inviting inviting your prospects on a venue offline. So, ngayon, pwede na rin tayong nag invite na din tayo sa uh, well, especially here sa Canada because we are not really we are not really so open yet na maggather. Um, virtual meetings are also good. So, ang 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 ano natin dito, ang gusto na ang iiwasan natin na mag-prospect sa bahay ng ng ano natin ng ng prospect. Ay, iiwasan nating mag-prospect. Iiwasan nating mag-meet with the prospect at their homes. Bakit? It because it is their territory. It, it is a territorial ground. Maraming distractions kasi Kunyari, nasa bahay. Nasa bahay siya, maraming gagawin. Ay, sandali lang, maglalaba ko. Ay, yung ano ko pala, yung huhugasan ko. Ay, yung niluluto ko. Maraming distractions, di ba, pag nasa bahay. And then, as much as possible, I, I wouldn't say na talagang never at a restaurant, but if you will, make sure na it's either naka-order na or nakakain na. Kasi, kung gutom yung prospect mo, tapos dadalhin mo sa sa, sa re, uh, alam na sa restaurant kayo gutom yung prospect mo tapos ang tagal ang tagal ng service gutom na ikaw dadakdak dak, ka pa ng dakdak diyan ng ano mo <laughs> ng business opportunity mo i don't think it's gonna be successful kasi ano um mag-iisip yung client mo about sa food instead na mag-concentrate doon sa ine-explain mo. So, those are the reasons why. So, meron tayong tinatawag na ABC rule or T-up. So, this is this is your part. So, we have to keep it short and simple. Halimbawa, alam mo ba yung magdi-discuss sa iyo si Mentor Marlon? 25 years old lang 'yon, pero kung kumita milyon. So, pag dumating na yung mentor, Introduce him or her, yung mentor mo sa prospects mo right away. Kunyari, ay, siya po pala si ano, siya po pala yung kinukwento ko sa'yo kanina, si mentor Marlon. So, keep it very, very, keep it short lang yung pag-introduce pag mo. Kasi pag sobrang haba na, 
it will be obvious that it is scripted. So, it will be parang ano, halatang halata na parang in-script mo na yung pagdating niya, yung pag ano. Pero make it make it make it make it looks make it look natural, very short lang. So, ang ang don'ts naman is uh, do it in front of your mentor and then tee up the prospect in front of your mentor. So, next one is the presentation. Presentation or Zoom and offline. So, set up home office. So, pag, nag, pag nag, meron naman tayong presentation na ginagawa natin virtually, we have to set up home office. Turn on your camera. Mute, always mute your mic. Be active on chat when speakers ask answer and agree, and then makinig and mag-focus. Use the power of nodding. Okay? Huwag kayong humiga at kung ano-anong ginagawa. Huwag din kumain sa presentation. Uh, also, don't leave during the pres presentation. Huwag kayong gumamit ng phone while your mentor is presenting. Kasi parang disrespect naman. Parang uh, Parang you are showing that you're not interested. And then, don't ask questions while your mentor is presenting. So, you can always ask questions at the end of the presentation. And then, sa closing naman is teamwork. This is a very critical, critical part. So, what are the do's? Be confident. So, walang maniniwala sa taong walang tiwala sa kanyang ginagawa. So you have to believe in what you say. Sabi nga, uh, say, uh, say it or speak from the heart yung sinasabi. So be confident, speak, speak from the heart. Kasi nag, uh, ano yun, it resonates when you are talking to your prospects. And then you have the key to get their dreams. So dito, um, it This is actually uh, this is actually very true kasi ikaw yung nag-o-offer ng opportunity, ikaw yung nakakaalam. So be confident about that na uh, what you what you're offering is good. Let them feel na wala there's nothing to lose but there is something to gain in what you are going to present to them. And then uh, make sure to express to them that we help each other here. Ha? Huh? That we help each other and hindi lang yung peperahan na mindset. So, our main goal is the on the spot. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na strike while the iron is hot. Huwag nang pakawalan, it's now or never mindset. So, it's this it, as the saying goes na um, strike while the iron is hot. Kasi, kunyari, Elated na, nagpresent ka. Sobrang elated na yung prospects mo. Ngayon na, sige na, on the spot. Huwag mo nang sasabihin na, ay, bukas na lang, or mamaya na lang. Eh, mamaya, baka kung ano nang naunahan ka nang may nagpresent ng ibang company, nakuha na nila kasi elated. When, when a person is elated, and they are excited about what, you're, what you are presenting, right away, on the spot na yan. Sign up na yan. <laughs> Di ba? Agree ba kayo? Are you learning? Yes, so, mentor. Yes, mentor. Yes. So, don't let your mentor close it alone. Kasi, magsasound pushy na siya. Di ba? Siya na nga yung, siya na nga yung hiningan mo ng tulong in order for you to be able to present it to your ano, prospect. Tulungan mo na na maklose nyo. Kasi, In truth, ikaw yung ikaw yung mas nakakakilala. Alam mo yung kilite ng anong na, alam mo na yung kilite ng in-invite mo. So, na pepresentan mo. So basically, yung tulong ng yung tulong ng ng mentor mo is a very good help. But in order for you to close help, he, tulungan mo yung mentor mo. I-assure mo yung prospect na ang an in assure 
um ang hindi mo wag mong wag mong i-assure wag mong ano hen wag mong wag kang magpa-promise mag, wag kang mag-overpromise and underdeliver na sasabihin mo na ay nako sumali ka bukas ah, dalawang araw may million ka na so don't don't do that income ang income hindi guaranteed kasi kung hindi ka magtatrabaho wala kang kikitain so kailangan mong you have to exert an effort in order for you to make to make money here kumbaga meron tayong magandang system you don't have to reinvent the wheel but you have to work the system and then mag-refer ka wag wag na wag mong wag na wag mong gagawin na hindi ka pa sumali nagre-refer ka na kasi babalikan ka ng ano mo ng prospect mo sasabihin niya pinasasali mo ako ikaw sumali ka na ba ano na bang rank mo diyan tapos sasabihin mo hindi pa nga ako sumasali o asa na yung credibility mo parang pinain mo yung kaibigan mong in-invite mo right so and then here are the closing tips so may, meron tayong cut off na Monday. So, first goal is your return of investment. Usually, pwede nating sabihin na, o, oh, kunyari, anong day ba? Mm, kunyari, sa, sa, nung, sa, fri, nung, sa Friday or ngayon. Ano ngayon? Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday ngayon. <laughs> kunyari, Wednesday ngayon. Alam natin na ang cut off Monday. Siyempre, sasabihin mo na. Sasabihin mo na na, na kung kung sumali ka kung sumali ka na ngayon sumali ka na ngayon <laughs> kung magi-invite na tayo para kung kung sino yung maipasok mo meron ka ng gusto mo na kung ano yung ina, kung ano yung nagastos nila mer, yung mak, kung mag, tutulungan mo na silang makabalik yung RO, yung ano nila ma, yung ininvest nila so pwede ka nang mag-refer agad para pagdating ng cut off may income ka na kasi ang cut off natin Monday. Or you can also uh, you can also create a sense of urgency by explaining the slot reservation. Kunyari, sir, pwede na tayong mag-reserve ng slot para ikaw mauna. Yung susunod na ma-refer ma-refer ko under mo na. This is this is the um this is the power of this is the good thing about the one account policy. Kasi Basically, lahat ng mag, kunyari, yung nag-sign up ngayong araw na to, technically, under niya, lahat ng magsa-sign up bukas. ba? Diba? So, yun, 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 parang sa slot reservation. So, pwede mong gamitin yun. Also, another thing for um, creating sense of urgency is, kunyari, uh, credit, card, credit card option or magbabayad siya through PayPal. Kasi sasabihin ay, ano pa lang, magjijade ako pero kulang pa ako ng 500 mentor, sasabihin niya. Kulang pa yung 500 yung ano ko, yung ipambabayad ko dyan sa jade. Okay. Yung offer mo na meron tayong ano, meron tayong credit card option through PayPal for, or for staggered payment. So it's easier to pay kung ganito kasi pwede mo nang gamitin yung credit card at and then habang habang nakapasok na or nakain na yung ano mo na nakuha mo na yung slot mo pero pwede mong bayaran pa unti-unti sa credit card mo also the one account policy one leg closing is a pal yung i-explain mo din yung possibility of the spillover so meron tayong spillover na tinatawag so yung lahat ng mga kunyari yung mentor ng mentor ng mentors because of the one account policy the Basically, it's only one leg on the right and one leg on the left. So, isang pa, isang ano lang yon, isang isang one account policy yon. So, ang mangyayari, there's no other way for your mentors. Walang other walang other options but to put it as spillover. So, mapupunta sa inyo sa sa ilalim ng ilalim ng ilalim. So, that's how it is. Also, on a case to case basis naman, pwede naman sa closing tips natin is kung kakilala, kakilala mo and is really very eager and is a potential uh, he, he or she is a trusted friend or close friend, pwede mong abonohan din. Pero I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't encourage 
but it can it can be done. Okay? So ang reminder, don't overpromise and underdeliver. So wag kang magpa-promise ng kung ano-ano and then hindi mo naman ma-deliver kasi hindi magandang start, hindi magandang start sa relationship niyo as business partners. So next is encoding and spillovers. Ask your mentor how to encode ASAP. So, kunyari, uh, meron, actually meron tayong, meron tayo sa team natin na prepared na parang cheat sheet on how to encode. Uh, kung hindi mo pa, kung sa inyo na nag, nandito ngayon, kung hindi nyo pa to alam, kung hindi nyo pa alam kung paano mag-encode, uh, ito yung dapat it, matutunan nyo din. Kasi, it's it's important to be able to learn how to encode ASAP. Kasi ito na yung mga ano mo, mga mga downlines mo na ilalagay mo sa organization mo. So the the first thing to know about encoding is um encoding your your encoding your members or your the, your teammates or your downlines on the extreme left and extreme light, right only. So, nasa left and nasa right. Yung far right and far left. Yung first direct encoding should be on the spillover side, which is, I think, is it always the left? So, depende. Depende sa, depende sa, <laughs> depende sa, sa, sa organization. We will let you know about that. Pag malalaman nyo, kasi in truth pala ganito. Sa, sa system sa system ng pag encode yung ano mo when you do it sa it's actually a dummy proof pala Dam, very dummy proof ang encoding natin kasi it will you will know where where you need to put it once you put in once na mag-encode ka na kasi hindi ka nila hindi ka magkakamali kasi pag clinic mo yung right na hindi pwede sa right hindi mag-work you will always go to the left, left, the other right. <laughs> so, ganon, ganon. So, ang second encoding mo, kung nag-start ka sa left, yung susunod mo sa right. So, nangyari to sa akin, kasi nung nag-encode ako, um, I was thinking, hmm, siguro left. Pinipilit ko talagang left. No, hindi nag-work. So, I went to the right. <laughs> Kaya, alam ko na, na right, and left, right, and left. So, malalaman mo yung spillover mo once mabuksan mo yung account mo, mag-encode ka ng first in, in, encode mong member, uh, ano mo, downline mo, and then you will know. So, ang ang spillover pala, marami ka dyan makikita sa spillover mo kung ano mang side yon. Marami ka makikita pag binuksan mo yung account mo na merong mga names na hindi mo kilala. Kasi, yun yung spillover. Yun na yung, ano yun, um, uh, Bonus mo yun, kumbaga, bonus mo yun sa mga uplines, from the uplines, or from your mentors, up, upline mo. So, they are not, they they are spillovers, but it is also your responsibility. They are your responsibility. Tulungan mo sila, kasi isa, isa, sila, sa, isa sila sa member ng organization mo, kahit hindi mo kilala. Okay? So, you have to uh, think of two things. You have to connect and communicate. So here, we just have to keep pushing and stay focused because your hard work will definitely pay off. I will guarantee that this one you can guarantee that if you keep pushing and you stay focused, ang hard work mo mag pay off. Guarantee. Yan, I can guarantee. We're on recording, right? We're recording this or no? <laughs> so, and now, it looks like our movers manual is done. We'll go to protocol. So, what is protocol? This, 
protocol is the rules of correct and appropriate behavior for a group of people or particular situation. This is our this is actually our distributor's code. Kailangan, 'di ba, pag ano ka, pag pag uh, pag part ka ng isang group, you wanna represent the group well, right? You wanna you wanna be you wanna be behaving right dahil nasa group ka ayaw mong ayaw mong matar ayaw mong matarnish ayaw mong ma masira yung grupo gusto mo you, you know you wanna preserve how the integrity is and everything about the group so what does that mean there are things that we need to here are the codes distributors code so first follow ethical business practices Huwag po tayong magre-recruit ng distributor na mag-join mag sa company na nasa premises na ng IM or nasa or merong activities kunyari pumunta ka sa pumunta ka sa isang event. Huwag kang nagre-recruit doon kasi for sure yung mga nandoon meron nang meron nang nag-invite niyan. Right? And then Huwag tayong magre-responsor or mag-encourage ng uh, existing na active distributor from another group or distribu distributor into your group. Kunyari, alam mo na na part na siya ng isang, isang team tapos ini-encourage mo pa na i-re-responsor mo. That's not right. So I think, I believe you can only do that pag inactive na yung member, right? And it should be at least six months. It should be at least six months. So, na pwede mong, pwede mong buhayin kasi six months na siyang hindi, ayaw, parang ayaw na, wala na siya ng interest. But if you are able to encourage, that's good. Pero wag yung mga active. Kasi ano yan eh, tinatawag yan na poaching. And it's not good for business na nagpo-poach. I think, I believe in every business that I have been part of, uh, believe ako sa mga, believe ako sa mga, believe ako sa mga groups or businesses na pinapractice to, na they don't, that they respect each other. Kasi, hindi maganda pag pinapoach mo eh, parang nagsusulutan. ba? Diba? It's not good. So, kung sino nag-invite and nag- nag-present, yun dapat ang doon dapat mapupunta yung client. So, and then, huwag tayong magsesell or magsolicit ng I am products with within I am premises or event which is kind of like the same as the the same as recruiting na nagre-recruit ka, nandoon na yung ano, nakikita ka, walang hiya naman to. <laughs> Nag-invite akin na nga yan eh because it creates animosity and it creates a very bad relationship within the company and this is why i am so i am so proud of to be part of i am worldwide kasi they practice these codes which is a really good a really good thing to 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 apply sa business natin so mag also follow standard pricing policies actually meron akong nakita pala online na na actually I think dito yan I'm not sure kung dito sa dito sa Edmonton yon na sinabi na wala daw bayad yung membership which is kind of technically true because you're buying a package pero parang nag-offer siya na ano daw uh, buy one take one which is not really good why because there's a standard pricing policy kailangan kung kunyari Ah, uh, meron ng set na standard retail price. Let's follow that. Nasa sayo na din din diskarte kunyari. It's up to you. Pero ah, uh, it's up to you kung paano mo didiskartehan yung ganun. Pero as much as possible, please, yung standard pricing policies let's follow kasi hindi naman fair. Hindi this is this is actually in the name of fairness na magkaroon tayo ng standard na pricing kasi how would you feel kung ikaw nag nagpresyo ka ng barley na na sinunod mo yung standard price pero merong nagbebenta na 10 dollars off 
How how would that make you feel? Diba? It's it's not good. So, and then this is what I have mentioned this a while ago. Do not encourage personal loan. This may result to future conflicts, but it's a case-to-case -case basis. If you trust the person and you know them well, then that's that's your discretion. So next one is believe in your company. Know your company, your history, your vision and mission, your strengths. Why? Dahil, these are some of the questions that they, that might come up pag, na, pag na, nakikiusap ka sa mga taong gusto mong eh, mag-join mag sa company. Of course, dapat alam mo. And then, alamin mo din kung sino yung mga company officers and staff. Mga names and contact numbers nila, yung roles and responsibilities. Katulad sa atin, kunyari, ako, inalam ko kaagad kung sino yung pinaka-upline ko. Sino yung upline ni, sino yung upline ng upline ng upline. It's actually good to know. Okay? So, if you don't know that, we will get to that. Try. Ask questions. And then, maging, maging active part ng company maging active play mag, maging I am team player and support the company's programs and activities and events kailangan may in love ka sa I am right have it in your heart kasi uh, honestly yung taong yung taong yung taong ini-invite mo yung taong sinishare mo yung Sini-share mo yung business, yung business or yung products kahit ano na i-share mo about sa about, about one thing. If you if it's in your heart, nagre-resonate. Nagre-resonate siya sa taong they, they see how passionate you are about the product. Katulad kay Mentor Jen, pag nag-explain siya about sa ay pag nag-present siya about sa barley. I I actually like kahit pag pinapanood ko pag pinapanood ko siya it resonates with me uh, dahil na feel ko na talagang she believes in the product she believes in the company and i feel na grateful siya to be part of the company and that's how we should be so what's next you have to believe in the products you have to be a user Ikaw dapat maging product ka ng product mo mismo. Kasi, kunyari, tinanong ka, ano bang lasa ng ano na yan? Ano bang lasa ng barley? How are you gonna answer? Dapat meron kang sarili mong personal testimony about how powerful or how good your product is. Kasi, isa yon sa mga tools para tumaas yung sales mo and yung network mo. Maniniwala yung tao sa taong naniniwala sa sarili niyang produkto. So, wag pero wag din wag namang exaggerated. Wag namang mag false claims about sa products. So, you actually ang products natin, it's not it's not um uh, hindi siya substitute ng kahit anong treatment or ng anything that physicians or specialists can can advise or can 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 uh, what do you call this na pwedeng i i, i, i recommend so usually i wouldn't i wouldn't make false claims i'll just say yung testimonies is good but the disclaimer is we don't we don't claim that our products can cure but there are there are claims from the testimonies of real living people or living mentors or living members of our company na gumamit ng product na yun yung effect sa kanila so wag kayong mag-invent o mag-claim ng use ng products na hindi approved ng company so this one is the fourth one is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and in your skills, pero remain humble. Lagi kayong maging confident, pero hindi arrogant. 
nobody hates more than a person who's arrogant. Alam mo yan? Kailangan maging humble tayo. And come to think, have a, like kung makikita mo yung mga ano natin, yung mga mga mentors natin na are already making millions, there are are they ever so humble? And then tanggalin niyo yung fierce. Fierce is an acronym stands for uh, I mean, well, fierce which is failure, rejection, looking stupid and being powerless. Tanggalin niyo yung fear niyo. Be confident na kaya niyo i-represent yung I am, kaya niyo i explain yung product na ino-offer niyo sa kanila. Remember that faith it until it's real. So don't fake it. Faith it. Believe in it. Next is believe in your uplines and mentors. So we should always be grateful for our uplines. Parate. Ako, I am ever so grateful for all my uplines. Why? Dahil they are there to help me. They're always there when I need them. Even if I don't need them, they are there. And they're always offering, uh, offering help to make you make you better. So wag nyong wag nyong wag nyong wag nyong iba bad mouth yung mga uplines nyo kahit kanino. So and then do not abuse. Meron tayong mga uplines na sobrang babait. Wag naman po nating abusuhin. And then especially pag nagpe-present ng business. Let's learn how to present business, our business. Wag naman nating parati na lang si si mentor na lang parati ang nagpe-present. So, whoever invites the upline to present shall be responsible for the expenses of the talk. So, kung uh, sino yung sino yung I, I understand na sa una we will our our mentors are are there, our uplines are there to help us, pero wag naman nating abusuhin. Let's let's actually learn in order for us to be able to do it on our own. So, pero wag naman kayong mahihiya. Wag, wag kayong mahihiyang tumawag. Contact your uplines. Wag namang lagi na lang na sila na lang tumatawag sa'yo. Ano, sign of respect to your uplines. Next one is believe in your downlines. So, oh, oh. push your downlines to develop skills to their optimum potential. So, ano po yung, ano, 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 ano ba yung, ano, ano ba yung, yung potential? Yung potential is actually, ano natin yon yung uh, ano ba yung what are the things that we can do that we haven't done yet so yun yung potential natin push them to that potential let them let let them get out of their uh la, ano comfort zone e push natin maniwala tayo sa mga downlines natin yung mga skills nila and yung potential growth kailangan natin mag encourage encourage natin sila to improve daily and invest in themselves. So, for example, marami tayong mga trainings, let's encourage them to attend para ma-improve nila and ma-learn nila yung business. Huwag natin silang iba bad mouth yung mga downline and let's not spoil them either. So, yung spillover is a privilege. Huwag, huwag, huwag po nating hihingin. Huwag tayong humingi ng Huwag tayong humingi ng 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 spillover kasi spillover is actually a bonus. And then next is mind your own business. So, mind your downlines, not your uplines. Doon kayo mag-focus. Maraming pwedeng gawin sa mga maraming pwedeng marami tayong pwedeng gawin for our downlines. Huwag tayong makialam sa upline natin. So, as much as possible, have your own forms, materials, PowerPoint presentation, and videos. And be on time always. Lagi tayo dapat updated kung anong mga nangyayari. Kunyari, nagpe-present ka, yung mga presentation mo pala, kailan pa, yung mga luma na three years ago. So, it has to be updated. and Build your organization. So. Be responsible 
responsible po tayo ng sariling growth ng organization natin. We have to build downwards. And wag nating i-blame yung iba sa ating success or failure ng organization. The, the, your success or failure depends on you, hindi yung apply mo. Wag mong sisisihin, eh, kaya... Ay, pangit naman yung ano na yan eh. Ang, ang, ang I am na yan eh. Hindi naman yan nag-work. Kasi, hindi siya naging successful. Kasi, something happened and they blame their uplines. Huwag po tayong ganon. We are actually responsible for our own success. Remember, this business is actually uh, at your own pace. It's either... Um, You can do it as slow as you want or as fast as you want. Ang tanong lang is, how bad do you want it to grow? Kung gusto nyo mabilis, you can do that. It's kay kung baga walang it's an unlimited opportunity. So, is everybody learning? Are you learning, yeah, mentors? Yeah. Okay, support your groups equally. So, kunyari, meron kang incentive. Dapat fair. Walang favoritism dyan. Kaya, lahat. It's an equal, it's it's a level playing field. Everyone is given a, a equal opportunity. So, ang mga incentives, mga bonus lang yan. Hindi mo pwedeng hingin. Work for it. Katulad ngayon, meron tayong, like I said, yung Hatawan 2020. It is for everyone. Learn the mechanics and go for it. Incentives. Incentives, di ba? Mga bonus. So, sa centering, anong ibig sabihin nito? So, tayo, na, na, nandito sa Canada, we, re, we, we don't have the, we don't have uh, headquarters, but, There's a way for us to be centering centering our organization na hindi lang yung lagi lang kumbaga tayo 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 lang. Be part of the I am group as a whole. Kailangan nating kunyari kung ang kung ang uh, I am worldwide corporation mismo may mga trainings. Let's let's encourage our downlines to Also, to, to attend to attend the trainings from there as well. Yung mga pre presentations and mentorings, ganun din. Also, this is still part of the building your organization. Lagi tayong maging positive. Huwag tayong nagko-complain. And we have to be a good example. Kasi, ang mga negatrons, hindi masayang kasama. Hindi masayang hindi masayang ka-business. So, the advice is when you feel down, hindi naman po natin pwedeng sabihin na hindi ko naman sasabihin na always be positive na hindi na tayo wala na tayong negativity sa buhay. Syempre, mer lagi tayong meron meron uh, that's part of life. But we have to be we always have to be matuto tayong bumalik sa Kunyari, nagiging negative na naisip mo na or nagiging negative ka na always think of positive things in order for you na bumalik sa pagiging positive and if you if you feel down always reach out to your upline so parating mag-reach out sa upline wag sa baba and then keep track of your business record you are the owner of your own business Act like an owner. So, next one is learn fast to grow fast. Mag-attend tayo ng mga meetings and mentoring sessions. Actually, it's such an amazing thing na meron tayong mga mentors who are willing to help us. Honestly, di nilang kailangan gawin yan. But they do it because they want to help you grow. So, laging, lagi tayong uh, mag magkaroon tayo ng good learning attitude listening and lecturing attitude so and also help yourself learn fast and grow fast so yung personal development natin read read books 
makinig kayo sa mga talk self uh, self help na mga books uh, mga motivational uh, learn to watch or listen or read motivational mo motivational uh, to to some of the motivational speakers one of my favorites is actually um, Tony Robbins I also have I've attended uh, training training with another uh, uh, Tom Hopkins is another one there's a lot of books and uh, books and motivational speakers out there mag, mag invest kayo invest your time uh, invest your well some of your money in in um, gaining knowledge so practice to have a positive mental attitude all the time and the last one is to aspire to be the best so hindi tayo there's nothing's perfect right walang walang perfect pero if you aspire if you aspire to be to be uh to be perfect there's no such thing as perfection pero if you aspire to be perfect you will always stumble upon excellence so aspire to be a good leader and mentor you want to be a top for performer so your downlines will follow you to the top see you at the top and have the responsibility to know and teach your downlines like ano tayo let's always let's always have a uh let's always extend mag-extend tayo parate na maging responsible tayo na mag-help ng mga downlines natin turuan natin sila ensure that um your done your downlines know enough know how and motivation to succeed para maturuan din nila yung mga downlines nila ito yung tinatawag nating duplication you want to duplicate yourself so and also always be presentable wag naman yung porket nagzoom na lang ang itsura natin mukha tayong laging bagong gising parang walang supply supply and all let's be presentable naman we let's let's act our best all the time kasi we are also like we are also um parang ilulok up tayo ng mga downlines natin so we wanna be we want to be in proper in proper business attire we should always radiate confidence Ma makikita ng downlines natin na ano ka na confident ka nai-inspire sila it gives it, and yung energy mo like i said it resonates to your downline always smile kailangan nakakahawa parati yung attitude mo yung positive positivity mo nakakaawa nakakahawa so minsan actually may mga ano tayo may mga may mga ginagawa tayo na na it resonates so much it's so much positivity it's so much of everything good it's so much of love so much of your belief in the product your belief in the company it actually radiates to your downlines ano yon nakakahawa yon so you want to be you want to be that person who everyone wants to be kasi alam nila na very positive ka so follow your team team system consistently and wholeheartedly so what are this what ano yung mga system na to so you don't have to reinvent the wheel if you think that you will be successful by by uh by doing something different from what's already what what already what what what's already in place you are mistaken once na nag off track ka dinedelay mo lang yung success mo just follow it follow the system it's a system that works it's a system that's proven and it's a system that's been there na inano na um 
inilagay na ng mga ng mga mentors natin or ng let's say our founder, our president, our VP kasi pinagdaanan nila, na nila yan. Alam na nila yung pasikot-sikot. So it's actually being shared with us and we are very lucky. So ano yon Yung I am manual, yung do's and don'ts, yung protocol manual and distributor's code, your trainings, program events, kahit anything that our team had put in place. So, maging active tayo, like I've mentioned earlier, maging active tayo sa group chats natin, be active in bondings and mentorings. Yung mentoring is very important. It's something that's free. Alam nyo ba na for ako, I've experienced this, na in order for us to be able to get the mentoring that we are getting for free in IM, kailangan, there are a lot of of there are a lot of leaders out there na kailangan nilang magbayad para mentor sila. So, consider yourselves lucky na meron tayong mga mentors who are who are willing to help. Trainings are always there and all you do is to jump in, jump in the Zoom meetings. So, don't it says here, do not post your new members in public. Um, I'm I'm like I, I this is actually so me. I don't I don't hindi ako yung taong ra ra ra. You know? I would rather work silently and aggressively kasi and take care of my downlines kesa sa yung lagi kang nagsasalita, maraming sinasabi and then wala namang results. I would rather be silent pero nakikita yung results. So, that's what we want. Kumbaga, you just shock the whole the whole world. Next is uh, the requirements or tips. It says here to buy a good pen. Yes, I actually I will share with you. I have a special pen I take with me all the time. I have it at home, I have it at work. And even at work, they actually know that it's my pen. It's actually funny. Yung isa sa ano namin, isa sa, isa sa staff namin sa, sa, ano, sa reception, nagtitrain siya ng bagong receptionist or front desk person sa work. Narinig ko siya nung dumaan ako na, oh, yan, si, yan pala yung ano natin. Siya yung, siya yung isa sa, well, sa leaders dito sa company or sa 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 work. Minention niya talaga and don't ever steal her pen. <laughs> so, it's my pen, nobody touches it. So, and then have a planner and a notebook. You have to always take down notes. Ako I am good. I I love taking down notes kasi nababalikan ko and honestly, even your goals goals are likely to be uh, achieved when you write it down. Bakit? Kasi it reminds you all the time. Nare-remind ka, nakikita mo. You have it. It's, it's, it's reminding you. It's actually, it's actually shouting at you. So it's calling your name. Na gawin mo to. Ito yung goal mo. So learn to take down notes, recordings, record, recording, mentoring, sharing. So yeah, we should, we should be in a habit of taking down notes and then upgrade we are in a networking business we sell ourselves so um hindi ko naman sinasabi na mag bumili kayo ng mga magagarang ano if it's working as long as nagkikip up naman sa technology that's good upgrade and then it says here, open your two bank accounts, savings, and for daily expenses. Paminsan-minsan, wag naman yung lagi na lang yung apply nyo ang nanlilibre. Eh, wag nyo namang, uh, but don't spoil them as well. So, treat your team once in a while. And then, casa hopping, condo hopping, house and lot hopping. Keep in mind the law of sowing and reaping. So, Isipin po natin na in order for us to be able to sow 
or umane, kailangan po nating magtanim. Let's not expect to to ano, to to keep reaping or mag-ani ng mag-ani na wala naman tayong ginawa. Siyempre, like I said, nothing is really promised to be easy. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Ang tanong, how bad do you want it? Kasi kung i-compare natin ang um, having a business and working really hard on your business for maybe couple or three years is still way better than working for 40 years and then grow old to retire na hindi mo naman afford mag-retire. If you, if you come to think of it or if you observed it, if you observe when you go to maybe Home Depot, Rona, uh, Walmart, there's a lot of actually older people there who are still working. Why? Because they can't afford to retire. So always pray. So our future is so bright with I am worldwide. I know this for a fact. So if you just put your put your work, put your working hat on and keep going, it's an we can make an extraordinary income here. As you can see, you're familiar with our mentors that are already in the million circle. This one, one week income of 519. Who wouldn't want that? Right? So look at this. If we keep working our business, at first, we really have to work so hard. Kasi there will come a time na yung pinagtrabahuhan natin will actually give us a passive income even if we don't, we are not putting so much effort anymore. And that's, that's, the, that's the good thing about having a business like I am, a networking business, because it's a good fall, it's a very, very good fallback kung nag-work pa kayo and you're doing this part-time. Uh, that's really good. Kasi you are you are preparing you are preparing to have something that is that will pay off in the future. So, yung mga bagay na ganon, grow your business. Uh, kasi we have we it's a proven system. We already have mentors that have had have have had achieved so many things here. So many kumbaga yung dreams nila na fulfill na so like kids here are some of the our mentors that have been in the company for 3 years and have achieved like million dollar earnings so teamwork makes the dream work we are here we are we are we are a team we help each other and Alam nyo ba na um, in, in I am, we start dreaming. We, we start to dream again. Kung magtatanong kayo ng isang bata, na uh, maybe a toddler, five years old, six year old, six year old kids, when you ask them who they wanna be when they grow up or what do they want when they grow up, di ba? straightforward silang nag-answer sa atin na, well, I want to be a doctor, I want to have a big house, I want to be... Ang dami nilang dreams. It's such big dreams for little kids, right? But then as we grow old, older, nabobombard tayo ng mga negativity sa mundo. Mga negative na news, mga parang actually, ako, I don't, I don't usually, I don't usually watch the, watch the news. I, I like to know what's going on around, but it's it's actually defeating. It's it's defeating to listen to the news every day kasi puro negativity. So that's kind of what what happens to what happens to us as we grow like maraming negativity parang nagshi-shrink nang nagshi-shrink yung dreams natin to the point where we stop dreaming dahil inisip natin na parang impossible. Pero I am worldwide is your is is a very good tool. It's a, it's a company that 
uh, truly gives. So um, work this out, ask questions, um, learn the business and really work hard even for a couple or three years and I will guarantee you your hard work will pay off. Um, thank you everyone for being here, for staying with me and for participating. Uh, I am very, I am, thank you. And uh, I am very, very proud to be um, part of I Am Worldwide and to be, um, to be mentoring, mentoring you or mentoring most of you here who are new and, and the ones that are from our team. Thank you so much for spending your time and have a blessed night. Thank you. Ah, wow, galing naman ni Mento Amy. Ayan. Alam na, alam na next week. <laughs> Whose turn it is? <laughs> Natuto pa ba tayo? Ayan, natuto naman tayo lahat. Ano? Mm -hmm. Natuto ba kayo? May natutunan ba kayo? Tayo, worldwide. Uh -huh. Yes, mentor. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yung may mga tanong po, please reach out to your uplines or to your mentors who invited you here. Thank you so much. Pa shout out na lang ha. Ki, um, Cherry, Mentor Cherry, Mentor Che, Mentor Tiny, thank you. Uh, Mentor Amy. Hi. Um, who else do we have here? Mentor Sam, thank you for always <laughs> for always being there. Your presence is greatly appreciated. Mentor Chari, may sinasabi ka ba? Yeah. Mentor Amy, I was going to say you about the pen. That's really true. I know. Ma, ano, yung, yung line mo is me, crackling, nagka-crackle ano, siya. Choppy. Choppy. Nawawala ka. Para siyang ano, parang static siya. But I really want to hear from you. Maybe you just have to, ano, mag, ano ka lang, mag-move ka lang siguro ng konti sa, somewhere para mag-luminaw yung linya mo. Are you still there? Mentor Charlie? Hi. Hi, Mentor. Hello. Kumusta? <laughs> And I was gonna say na That's really really true of her na ano yung about sa pen. Talagang mm -hmm. hindi po siya nagsasign ng contract unless she she would use her own pen. See, I told you. <laughs> have have your own nice pen. Special pen mentor. <laughs> Sorry right. na. Headset ako kanina. Ah. So, meron pa ba? Mentor Ayan. Che. Best takeaway po. Ayan. Anong best takeaway ninyo sa mentor ay sa movers manual? Uh, marami akong nakuhang uh, learnings. So, actually, kung mapapansin din ni, ni mentor Amy, hindi talaga ako active for ano, yung mga unang-unang join ko last month na tuwing may mga Zoom. Eh, talagang natataon na busy talaga ako. So, pero I, I, I'm trying my best naman na makahabol. Pero mm -hmm. this, ano, itong past few weeks, tuwing lagi ako nag-aabang ng, ano, ng mga trainings and mentoring kasi I really want to learn more about this business. Kasi nga, tuwing nag-uusap kami ni Mentor Amy, lagi namin sinasabi na let's, let's do this. So, mm -hmm. we are aiming talaga na a bigger team here. in Edmonton or across Canada, di ba? So, wala naman imposible. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, I'm I'm still looking forward 
talaga sa mga more uh, mentoring. Actually, this morning, nag-message ako personally kay Mentor Sam to ask some links na pwede kong pakinggan, panoorin about the system of the company. So, yeah. yeah. Actually, marami. Marami tayong mga videos. Ako, ganyan din ginawa ko nung na-quarantine ako. I, I marathoned. Kasi alam ko na pag bumalik na ako sa work, it will be so busy. I will not have time for it because every time like I come home and then I'm I'm asleep but I got addicted to the to the trainings na halos lahat. May meron akong notebook, wala nang na sulatan, nag nagano na ako ng mga papel. <laughs> Kasi ay nakaka-addict, 'di ba? Yung mga yung mga yeah. trainings and yung learnings na makukuha mo. It's really it's really inspiring. It's really good para kang para kang sponge na you just keep absorbing, absorbing everything yeah. yes yeah yeah one more thing din talaga na nakuha ko dito sa sa training is yung alam mo hindi hindi mo wala talaga yung fear na baka alam mo yun, sa dami na rin ng pinasukan mo inalok mo sa kanila baka alam mo yun baka nagsisimula ka pa lang uh, mag ano na sila sa iyo na oh, next time na lang siguro ayaw namin sa ganyan ganyan pero Uh, you know the keep on trying pa rin. Exactly. Na wala namang mawawala. And not mawawala. just that. Prove them wrong. Kasi yung mga naysayers na yan, that is very typical. It That is human nature. Yeah. People don't want to be more successful than you are. I mean, they don't want you to be more successful than they are. So, ganun yung sasabihin nila na hindi naman yung mag-work or ganito. But don't listen to them. It's mindset. Yung mindset mo you know that the most powerful that the most powerful thing you could have is your mind if you can control it if you can if you don't get dragged into the negativity of the world you are going to be so powerful so powerful that yung mga negative and mga no na yon is not gonna affect you anymore yeah. human nature madali tayong ay pag sinabi ng ganito no pero kung ang belief mo is that strong and yung mindset mo, isprey no protect mo, yun yung ipoprotect mo eh, the most powerful thing. Kasi we keep thinking, we keep thinking, we keep thinking. So pag, pag nilalagyan mo ng, ng ano, uh, we actually become who we think. So if you, if you think that you are, you know, you are, you are good at this, you think that, like positive reinforcement parate. Minsan, you can practice it. Put like, Humarap ka sa salamin, look at yourself and talk to yourself. Because the most, ang pinaka, ano din, ang pinaka bad na critic of yourself is you. Yung sarili mo. Kasi we, we do, we do self-sabotage. Sinasabotage natin yung sarili natin. So, just keep going, be positive. Thank you, Mentor Che. Thank you. Meron pa ba? Anyway, maybe I can invite um, Mentor Sam. Do you have some parting words? Is Mentor Sam there? Yeah, yes, uh, Mentor. Uh, actually, uh, Mentor Sam will give us a special mentor.